All right, everybody. Uh, this is a video I was hoping that I was not uh, going to have to make, but um, after the three times this dryer has had this problem, I knew it was going to be inevitable and I was going to have to do it. All right. So, so what am I talking about here? Well, um, back in I'm going to say November of last year. Okay, I was drying a full load of towels. Okay. And the dryer was on high heat time dry. And what happened was, at some point during the cycle, I'll turn this on just to give you an idea. Um, reproducing this problem happens on its own, so it's hard for me to do it. So, okay, I said it was on time dry, high heat, and whatever time was on the timer, probably an hour, okay? So, while the dryer was running, at some point, the dryer just stopped running on its own, okay? And this heating light was blinking for a little bit. Now, when that happens, one of two things will happen after that, okay? The most common thing is... Um, actually, no, you know what? I'm going to start with the, with the less common one. The less common one is the light will go back to being solid and the dryer will just start itself again, okay? But what's more common, the second thing is all of these lights will just go out completely and then, lo and behold, you get an error code where the time display is, okay? And the time display um, was displaying E-R-C-O, okay? It was alternating between that, okay? E-R-C-O. Now, as expected, I went onto Google and I searched as much as I could, you know, Speed Queen Dryer E-R-C-O error code, okay? I couldn't find anything. And even in the owner's manual, okay, if you look in this owner's manual... The only, the only error code it's going to tell you about, just bear with me while I try to get to the page here, is, um, where is it, is, uh, sorry for the shadow there, is E-R-R-O, okay? And that means that the motor's, um, I guess, thermal overload has, has tripped. Now, and that's all it tells you. There is nothing in the owner's manual that will tell you about the error code E-R-C-O. So then finally, through some more Google searching, I sort of found an answer. And that was um, an ERCO error code was a, what had appeared on a Kenmore refrigerator. And that they had said that, I forget who it was, it could have been Sears, I can't remember. Um, ERCO stood for a communications failure, which makes sense. Communications begins with CO. So I was like, okay, at the time... I didn't know much about the dryer's interior, so um, we called the appliance place, and they sent the person here. Unfortunately, I wasn't here when the repair person was, because I was over on Long Island still, and my mom was here by herself. So only she knows exactly what the guy was doing, and I forget the details that she told me exactly. So I think he maybe redid some connections or whatever, and then it was fine for a while. Um, but then, let's see. In November, I'm sorry, in September of this year, it happened again. I was drawing another load of towels, and this time it was on auto sensing. I used auto sensing, the same thing happened. Okay, auto sensing there uses high heat, the same thing happened. Halfway through the cycle, dryer stopped running, ERCO on the control panel. And then again, it happened just around the turn of like the turn of this month, around like the last day of October, or close to the first day of November. Okay? Same thing. Load of towels, high heat, ERCO. So, I started kind of getting an idea as to how this was happening. Do you guys remember when I had the video of this dryer, um, and I had said that I was uncomfortable with how close that circuit board down there was to the burner? I think that's what the problem is. Now, what, what I'm about to say here is strictly my opinion. I'm by no means stating it as a fact, but I think this is what the problem is, okay? The problem is, okay, like I said, I was doing a full load of towels, and for the most part, towel is the heaviest thing you can put into a dryer, and it was on high heat, okay? Many of those times, the three times it was on high heat with towels in the dryer, sure enough, that panel felt very warm, okay? So if that panel felt very warm, you, you can imagine the area behind it was even hotter, and um, like I said, uh, so it felt very warm, and then sure enough, when the when the error happened, that's how warm the panel felt. 
So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a couple of tests here. I put the temperature down to medium with the towels, and then it ran no problems. I also decided to run a set of two full bed sheets that my mom uses just to cover the chairs when my nieces are eating here. Oh, excuse me. And I ran those on high heat, okay, because bed sheets are a lot lighter than towels. And guess what? Not a single problem. So, in my opinion, okay, the reason why we're getting this problem is because is because um, towels are very heavy and we're using high heat. And because of just how much is in there, the airflow is probably a little bit different from through the burner. And because of that, the board over there, like I said, is getting too hot. One of the first things I did try was I did, you know, open the door and um, have a look at the lint filter. And it was pretty full, so I decided to empty it out, you know, emptied it out, put the grate back in, closed the door, and then, you know, we started the cycle. Guess what? Less than five minutes later, the same thing happened again. Towels and high heat. So, like I said, I was very uncomfortable with the board being right there. And I think, like I said, it's getting too hot because of the load that's in the dryer and the airflow. So, that is pretty annoying, all right? So, just recently, we had a second guy here. He was here about maybe, I don't know, like a few days ago. And... I'm going to tell you right now, this guy was definitely awesome, okay? I'm not going to say uh, who he works for, but he definitely knew his stuff. And he's, like, roughly about my age, and he really knew um, what he was talking about, okay? So, I got a real treat here, okay? He, you know, he looked at the dryer, took off the lower panel. He agreed with me that he thought the burner was way too, was, that rather the circuit board was way too close to the burner, okay? And then he actually opened up the control panel, and he pulled out this thing right here, okay? This thing is the wiring diagram for the dryer, but also on this is the actual chart of all the error codes this machine can have, okay? Now, this is, this is the 9 series gas dryer. I don't know if this also applies to the electric dryers or the 8 series gas dryer, so, but it may, but here's a little reference, okay? Now, I just want to have a little bit of a disclaimer in this video, okay? If you're still within your warranty period, I do not recommend you go to inside the control panel to retrieve this yourself. Because if you open up this machine yourself, some places might consider that a warranty issue because you took off the screws and opened the control panel, panel yourself, okay? So, if you decide to still go about it and retrieve this, okay, I'm not responsible for any possibly voided warranties, okay? If you decide to go about and get this, you do so at your own risk. So just keep that in mind. There is one thing I will do for you guys though, okay? At the end of this video, I will show you a scanned image I took of this error code chart. Because since I can't find it anywhere on Google, you yourself can have your own image of this error code chart. So if you want to see what they are, you can always reference the end of this video again and see what they are if you by chance get any kind of error code on your dryer, okay? So if you want to see the, um, the error code chart, or just stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see it then, okay? So, like I said, the error code we were getting was ERCO, and you should see it, um, yeah, right there, ERCO communications. And look at all these other possible error codes, okay? You don't see this anywhere in the owner's manual, which is a pretty, which is a pretty bad move if you ask me, okay? So, like I said, the repair guy was here. What he's going to do is, and I will give Speed Queen credit, they are honoring the warranties, no issues whatsoever, so I am happy about that. He's going to replace the boards, I'm guessing the board in the control panel and the one by the burner, okay? And he's also going to make some kind of heat shield for the burner. I don't know what that entails, there's Marco down there. I don't know what that entails, how he's going to do it, but he says he will do something like that because he himself thinks that board is just way too close to the burner and it's getting too hot from the details I gave him about drying the towels and putting it on high heat and that's when the problem happens, okay? So, for now, the dryer does work, just um, we, we do laundry like maybe once a week or once every two weeks, so it doesn't get all that heavy usage. So, next time I do laundry, I'm probably going to keep things to medium heat for now, and then we'll just see where it goes from there, okay? And now, what I will do is, once the repairs are done, okay, 
I'm going to do like a test video of each drying, okay? What I'm going to do is, every time I dry a load of towels, I'll do it two or three times depending on how I feel, okay? I'm going to make a video of me starting the dryer, seeing how it's going, and then show the ending of the cycle, meaning it's, it cycles successfully, okay? I'll do that three times and then, uh, two or two or three times, and then after the final time, the only, t the only time you'll see a video on that again is if the dryer gives a problem, right? So that's where we are right now, guys, okay? I, you know, I was very skeptical about electronics, and, and this is one of the things I was talking about, all right? The washer has had no problems whatsoever. In fact, they even designed the circuit board on the washer better than the dryer, because on the washer, if you remember, they had it covered to prevent any water from touching it, because, like, you know, water plus circuit board equals bad news. So, I mean, they designed the washer very well. They covered it up nicely to protect it from water. This one, I don't think they did such a hot job on it, if you remember, all right? So, like I said, guys, you're going to replace the boards, and then we'll see how the dryer operates from there, and I'll do the test runs, like I said, okay? So, there we are for now, guys. The dryer does work, but we got to get this problem fixed, because... Like, uh, not being not being able to fully use high heat reliably, no, we, we didn't buy an appliance for that, okay? Alright guys, uh, so as usual, thanks for watching, and now here is the image of the error code charts that you can reference for yourselves, okay? In case you should need it. Take care.